Well, good morning, my YouTube friends. Salty Kayak here. We're out on a Tuesday. One of the local reefs not too far from shore. New Smyrna Beach over there. Daytona Beach over there. Anyway, we're going to try to catch us some something we can put in the cooler. It would be nice to get to another cobia so I could, you know, at least tie up with my old buddy Robbie since we've got a little contest going on. I will take this opportunity before I forget again to thank Joe N, James Y, and John C for contributing to my GoFundMe page so I can one of these days afford a little bit bigger, a little bit safer boat. So that when I start taking out some kids, teenagers, and their parents and stuff, do it a little bit safer manner. Anyway, I'll put a link at the end of this video. Now let me go see if I can uh, catch some bait we can catch some big fish get back in a bit well first sardine down first sardine down oh hardly struggling at all it's kind of a weird thing going on here doesn't feel like a game fish but it feels like a good size or something. Oh, kind of feels like either a shark or could be Mr. Cobia. Oh, that was too light. Mr. Shark, I see him. Mr. Shark, I see Mr. Shark down there. Oh, he doesn't like being hooked. He said, no, I don't like this. Come on back over here. Yep. Let me see if I can. Not too much. Well, I took care of that. Bit through the line. Bit through the line. Thank you, Lord, for that. Yep. Oh, goodness. Here we go again. Ooh, this was on a old dead cigar minnow I had. And. I hate to say it, I really hate to say it. I'm not fighting like a game fish. Feel like Mr. another one of those Mr. Shark kind of guys. But you always gotta look and see. Yep, I just bit through the line. Uh, tells me what's going on here. So yeah, this is up in mid column. If this is another Mr. Shark, I may have to, really may have to move. And he's acting somewhat like Mr. Shark. Although I don't see the grayness yet. But I see it now. Daggone, they are everywhere today. Out here. That's number three. That's number three. Comedy of errors. I might get my hook back on this guy. Ugh. All right, I had to move because it was nothing but shark after shark after shark. So I'm about a, at least a quarter to half a mile away from that last spot. I just dropped this sardine down. I'm looking for anything for the cooler. But I'm out here anyway having fun. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Red Snapper. Doobie doobie doo. Little guy, not very big. I think I'm going to let him go since we can't keep him. I let him go to grow. Let him go, go, go to grow, grow, grow. Oh, spit the hook. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and something else. I got my sons in town. One's arriving today, one arrived yesterday. I think they're going to spend some time at the beach, but I'm going to get them out here. Pulling up some of these, hopefully bigger than this red snapper, in the next day or two. Should be some good videos coming our way. 
And let me mark these spots to where I know there's fish. Yeah. Bring them out here to catch some nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get some big ones though. This could be number three red snapper. They seem to be pretty thick right in this spot. Yeah, it is a red snapper. Yeah, that's a little bit bigger. And that is number three. I think I'm going to let him go also. Like I've let all the other ones go. Don't need the venom because we're kind of shallow here. Got it down his mouth a little bit. Got it down your mouth a little bit, didn't you, fella? There you go. Hope nothing eats you. I haven't seen any barracudas so far. Which I can't see down the water very far. But we'll see. All right, some of you fine gentlemen want to see how I rig some of my poles. So I'm going to show you how I rig this meat stick. And I think I've got a uh, about an 8 aught, possibly an 8 aught circle hook over there. What I do is I'll cut this dorsal fin off. Because if the fish gets stuck, he's going to spit it out. So I cut that dorsal fin off. Then I cut two little slices on this side of the tail and two little slices on that side of the tail. And then, kind of sort of, sort of towards the front, sort of. Push the circle hook through and make sure that you clean off any scales that are stuck to the end of your hook. That will prevent a good hookup if you don't. And just drop her down and hold on. If there's any monsters down there, that blood smell will attract them. Now let's just hope it's not sharks because over there where that boat is right now, man, it was one after another shark. Golly. A few grunts and, and a lot of sharks. So I'll get back to you if I get a hit on this monster line. And I am getting something going on, but it doesn't feel like Mr. Snapper or or um, Cobia. I feel like Mr. Uh, Triggerfish just nipping at it. Let me go ahead and put it back here. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, this is on that grunt. And since it's looks like it's coming up in the column, I'm gonna say it's another blasted shark. Unless it's a cobia, but I don't know if it's Mr. Gray suit or Mr. Brown suit. So far, it's been Mr. Gray Suit. I see a tail. And I'm almost certain it's Mr. Gray Suit. But let's take a look and see. Oh, yep, yep, called it. Nasty Gray. That's the gray guy. Nasty, nasty gray guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all over this reef, folks. They are all over this reef today. It's the first one I've caught at this one little spot, but still. Mm. Get him off before he screws up my line. All right, another shark, another shark. Well, I put a big old 10-aught circle hook wire leader on here because I am tired of whatever it is down there biting my hooks off. And I think I got one of them finally, and I think I know what it is. He's not struggling real hard. And I'm going to move again. Yep, Mr. Shark. I'm running out of hooks. These sharks are everywhere. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He thinks he's going to get up. Not on that 135-pound wire later, my friend. But you might mess it up, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. I'm gonna move again. I might have to move further out, see if I can find something. Calm down, my friend. Oh, spin it out. Spin a circle hook out. How about that? Love it. Well, I've moved. I've moved about 10 more miles further away from shore. And I'm out deep here. Well, I'm out far, but not deep. 77 feet right here. Nobody else is out here. Looks like a storm coming. I don't know what this is. But I'm determined to try to get him up. This is some natural bottom down here. So hopefully he can't take me into any structure. Might be some shelves. I really don't have a clue what this is. This is on a sardine. Feels like a snapper. It's got the old snapper shake. Got the old snapper shake. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Let me see you. Got about a six or seven knot circle hook on here. And this is my ugly stick Tiger Light. And my pin, my new pin battle to 8,000 reel. All right, get close. Get close. What do we got? Oh my gosh. A thug of a red snapper. A thug of a red snapper. Well, they're not even supposed to be a rare out here. Oh my. He'll go down without me venting. I'll let him try. He's about. There he goes. Oh yeah, he's got the power. He's got the power. Bye. Well, this is number two fish. Sardine, same line. It is a, uh-oh, skunk is out of the boat. If I get him in here. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the mangrove. Woohoo! I thought I was gonna leave a skunk in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right.